Hi there, happy Travel Tuesday. Hi everybody, these weeks just go by, Elizabeth. They here do. we are. <laughs> Elizabeth and Brian here from AAA with your weekly Travel Tuesday update, and it's great to be together in person and not via Zoom. This I week. know it's really nice to be in person, and uh, um, I'm glad we. Uh, been doing Zoom for so long, but uh, it's great to be here. And we're out in the branch, and we got a lot of folks coming in, and uh, people are booking travel. Yeah, it's been busy. Of course, it's Travel Tuesday, and we do this every week, but it's also National Cheap Flight Day. And I know we don't want people to think, oh, every flight is on sale today. It's just kind of like you have National Pizza Day, National Margarita Day, National Pet Dog Day, whatever it might be. So yes. this is a time when summer travel is starting to wind down. You might get some good fall deals. Uh, keep Keep your eye out for that but if you're thinking like thanksgiving christmas school breaks uh those prices are going to be up there this year there's high demand always uh, you know um even before the pandemic holiday time prices were were never um deeply discounted but as a matter of fact uh, southwest came out with some sales today in, in JetBlue. uh so i guess there is something to what did you call it National Cheap Flight Day. Okay, so um, <laughs> you know I, I'm more into the the pizza days or the ice cream days or all of that or the roller coaster days. But yeah, th there are definitely deals out there, and you know airfares are really funny. They fluctuate all the time. One day they could be high, the next day they could be low. It's based on cities. It's based on timing. It's based on capacity. But I did see some emails come through today um, from some of the airlines offering some um, promotions to book now. So book now Absolutely. and it gets the excitement going for instance the parking spot at the buffalo airport you mentioned you got an email from them and they yes. were reminding everyone um, that today was a day to check the airfare but it, does it depend on what day of the week you travel as far as there's higher demand on certain well days? typically um and you know i uh, having done this for so long historically midweek was less expensive to fly Tuesday, Wednesday were the less expensive days to fly. People that, you know, go on a week vacation or go on a week's cruise, usually it's Saturday to Saturday, Sunday to Sunday. So if you do have flexibility, check with your travel advisor and they can certainly scan days to make sure you do get the lowest rate um, available if you are flexible on your days. I find myself doing that and then I'm end up leaving earlier and staying longer. I'm like, oh, well, I got a longer vacation. That's out of it right just up to your alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Hotel nights. <laughs> <laughs> That's right up your alley. I think you do that by design, well, actually. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, but do check it out. And, uh, you know, we've always said uh, this summer, uh, travel peaked and uh, there was a lot going on there still is but uh, flexibility is key if you are going on cruises or you're going on guided vacations it really bodes well to maybe go in a day or two early sure. to be there so you won't uh, miss the boat um, no pun intended but uh, uh, it's really great to see but key is now with the school schedules out kids are starting back to school plan that school break spring break Easter vacation, holiday time at the end of the year. Now's the time to really get those great deals, and there are great deals out there. Yeah, and there's going to be limited availability, especially in those key weeks. And of course, we always remind everyone, like if you can, pack lightly to use a carry-on to try and avoid, if, in case your flight gets disrupted, losing your luggage. And we have these packing cubes at AAA that are so handy. I, can't even explain how well they work. You just roll up your clothes, you put them in, yeah. you put so much in these cubes, and all of a sudden your suitcase holds so much more. And then you just unroll your clothes and hang them up when you get to your destination. Yeah, they really do work well. And, and of course, with a lot of the issues that have been going on, you know, people are more apt to do some carry on. Although, I don't know how you go on a 10 day vacation with carry on. I'm, yeah. I'm an overpacker <laughs> to begin with, so I have trouble. But these work really well. We have people that come in, have used them, and they um, swear by them. So that's really uh, a great suggestion Elizabeth. Well, thank you. Wear your sneakers and pack one pair of shoes in your suitcase and that's it and you just have to wear the really? shoes. Really? Yeah. Just two pair yeah, of shoes? That's it. Oh my god. <laughs> one okay. for fancy, one for walking <laughs> and that's all you get. All right well I'll, uh, I guess I better heed your advice. So. <laughs> or, else pack the, or else check the bag. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah but uh, uh, at, at any rate and again with that make sure the airline has your um, contact information. Download the airline's um, app on your phone. You'll get push notifications if there's cancels or changes, you'll know. You can even look for um, a rescheduled flight if your flight is canceled. So um, it's really good to be in contact, constant contact with the airline. Yeah, using that app, um, you're getting the most up-to-date information right there. It'll, they'll keep updating it before they, before they can even contact you. Absolutely. So you can check that out. Absolutely. Too. And one of the things I wanted to mention as well, there's been a lot of protocol changes um, with uh, uh, pre-testing and vaccinated travelers. Some of the cruise lines and tour companies on guided 
extended vacations have eased those protocols. So you, you may not be required to have a vaccine now to cruise, depending on the cruise line. You may not need that pretest to cruise. So if you had future travel credits or future cruise credits that you were holding off on, not knowing what the protocols are, now's the time to revisit that. Okay. Use those before they expire because um, many, many vendors are easing on those protocols. And they're changing literally overnight. I know I have something coming up and I was looking and I'm like, oh, I have to have this, this, this. And the next day I look, I'm like, I think it's updated. It doesn't say that I need all that. So absolutely, yes. Stay on top of that. And of course, our travel advisors are on top of it too. They know the latest. We get the updates daily. So it's really important and I think it just is peace of mind. Um, sure. But check those out. We don't want to have anyone, you know, have future cruise and travel credits that expired. Right. That's just lost money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have some great deals that are um, people can still take advantage of this month. Though. So there are some great deals and you know one I, I know I've mentioned it before but with all the folks on the road and maybe going back to school hurts. Um, we still have a promotion with 15% off a base rate but with the AAA discounted rate to begin with, it's almost up to 40% off a car rental. And that's for bookable dates through the 15th of September. Okay. So you can book up till the 15th of September and rent till the end of October. Hey, fall road trip. There well, it go. is a fall road trip. Or if you want to do, you know, a family uh, long weekend, or maybe you're going uh, off to college and you just don't have enough room in your car and you want to rent a larger vehicle, sure. that's a great discount. And yeah. it really, with all the AAA benefits with Hertz, it's really huge. Okay, now is the time to check in Absolutely. That. And now also planning for that vacation, either later this fall or next summer, Celebrity Cruises, um, last chance sail away um, to book through the 10th of September up to 75% off the second guest and save up to 200 or $500 on flights. That's oh, a really okay. great deal. So talk about cheap flight day. The cruise lines are giving you a discount. They are flights. giving you a discount. And Celebrity, they have wonderful, wonderful itineraries, whether it's the Caribbean, the Mediterranean, uh, Europe, uh, Canada, New England. Canada, New England is really, really popular um, in the fall. And now is the time they sail out of New York or uh, Boston, Baltimore even, and do the um, Canadian Maritimes up to Nova Scotia, Halifax. I've done that itinerary, it's wonderful. Ah, uh, sounds great right now. Beautiful scenery, be wonderful, delicious seafood, uh, less people probably traveling than in the peak of summer anyway. Absolutely. So um, a lot to look forward to. And what's to. that delicacy in New England that you always I say? You like when I say the lobster by the haba. There you go, <laughs> uh, absolutely. So um, you can have that on the ship or you can get off the ship and enjoy that. We did that in, uh, uh, in town in Bar Harbor, so Yum. it's a great spot. Yum. And then Princess, they have a sail soon or say a later promotion. So you book a cruise for 2022, you get up to 40% off. You book a cruise for 2023, up to 25% off. And that's bookable through the end of August. So you got it about a week and a half to get that in. But I have to tell you, Elizabeth, there are so many promotions right now with our vendors. And stay tuned because after Labor Day, there's a lot of Labor Day sales that are coming out oh, as well. Okay. So, you know, these kind of summer promotions are winding down, but we'll have a whole new list of promotions for the fall come Labor Day. Okay, you'll get those right here on absolutely, Travel Tuesday. Absolutely, you will. <laughs> you absolutely will. Right after Labor Day, we're going to be hosting an Alaska Expo that's virtual if people want to take part in that. So it is a, a virtual uh, uh, expo with Alaska. You would register. Uh, you can register at AAA.com com slash events it is on september 8th from five until nine now the program you don't have to be on from five until right, nine right. it's a program that goes that long but elizabeth and i will be on there we're um, doing the welcome uh on that and uh, kind of setting the stage for all of our partners that are going to be talking about alaska you can go into breakout rooms hear details about alaska with the different cruise partners and land partners. You can even talk to a travel advisor um, one um, one during right that there. expo one-on-one -on -one as well. So September 8th, um, plan on that. And uh, again, you can you know be in for a half hour, you can be in for an hour, however much you want to learn. And if you want to talk to somebody as well, great event. 
And um, when you go to AAA.com slash events, you'll see some Rocky Mountaineer events. We'll talk about that later on the Travel Tuesday, but just to let people know, end of September, and those are going to be in person. Those will be in person in our branches, Rocky Mountaineer, of course, the Canadian Rockies in the uh, U.S. West, um, great opportunities there. So, you know what? Travel is back. A lot of people are on the roads and in the air and on the boats and in the motor coaches, so it's really exciting. It sure is. This yeah. is great. Like, we don't have to say summer travel is ending. It's just changing gears as Absolutely. we move into the fall travel. And a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, happy Travel Tuesday. Brian and I will be back here uh, next week. We'll be on in the morning on next week on Tuesday with the Travel Tuesday update with a little surprise for everybody. Absolutely. Okay. We'll All see right. you then. <laughs> Bye.